get all my little ducks. Put them in a row and then triple them up. Put me in a room and I might just fuck. Look at my chain, don't look at my eyes. You make eye contact, you mask. I like them sweet with a sprinkle. Right, what's going on with y'all, man? It's your boy DV. Who's the news? Like, who we got right here, man? You know, Rizzy Racks. 804 bound, you know, Richard VA, RVA, Spanish. Oh, yeah, man, in the building, man. I traveled like like two and a half hours. Supposed to be, it was supposed to be an hour and 45 minutes, but it ended up being like nearly three hours coming down this joint, man. Traffic crazy yeah, coming out I 95, bro, from DC to here. It's crazy, bro. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 and nah, I definitely, but I definitely appreciate coming down here. I'm just letting you know, man, you my first Richmond artist, like, yeah. my very first. Like 804, Richmond. Uh, I've only interviewed like Northern Virginia artists. I never interviewed nobody outside of this. So this is going to be a special one right here. You know what I'm saying? So definitely, definitely right there on the DB Hustle News. I wanted to be able to take you around, you know what I mean, a few places today, but the rain and everything. Yeah, it's dark outside now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Next time you come back. Yeah. Yeah, we're definitely going to lock back in, though, man. But nah, tell me about yourself, man. Where you from, man? I'm from the East End. Well, see, really. I'm from the north side. I'm from Richmond, Virginia. That's where I'm from. Yeah. Virginia. I don't, I don't claim no hood or nothing. Right, 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 right. Good, right. cause it's like the section named apartments I'm from. That shit been just been a long time ago. Mm -hmm. What was the name of them apartments? Huntington Village. Huntington Village. Yeah, okay. Yeah, motherfuckers be knowing cause it was, it was section eight, but it really was like a lot of news from different projects in there. That shit used to be eat. <laughs> uh -huh. Oh, so it was like one of those neighborhoods where, like, all, like, say they'll knock down another project and they'll just move everybody in your joint? Yeah, but at that time, one of the projects knocked down, yeah. Right, 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 right. Yeah, that shit, everything was still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was like everybody was just, everybody just came to your neighborhood and yeah, it mean, just got I mean, crazy. Yeah, different people, yeah, which were different, different, different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, okay. I knew from the war was there, for sure. Wow. Right. I mean, but that shit used to be lit. Just mm -hmm. go outside. And shit was got you know what I mean? Yeah. Game, football, game, throw up a as a little nigga. You know uh -huh. what I mean? You see what he is. Yeah. But you said you moved to like after your neighborhood got yeah, torn down? Yeah, moved to East End. Uh -huh. but yeah, my mom was basically trying to, basically was trying to stop certain things from happening, but it's like, you know. Yeah. Part of your vibe, man. Shit was really in their birth, you know what I mean? Yeah. Who I am would be, who I would be. Right. It's like, it was just in my blood. Right. Day, you know. so, nigga, so it's like you try to escape, you try to take me, move me out around the base, you feel me, out in the county. But goddamn, I played ball, I played my day good. I mean, I, AB Honorable, I always was a smart nigga, though. I did AB Honorable, but it's just like who I am, who I am, my family is who my family is. Right, nah, facts, nah. So, like, couldn't stay there so much. I mean, you feel me? Then, especially when it ain't really, ain't mm -hmm. really an opportunity like that for real. Right. That um, facts. So. so we right here. Um, so we right here in Richmond, Virginia, RVA, 804. Can you explain? Cause you know I'm from DC, so we don't really. You know, we not. I'm not. I'm not familiar. Like I said, so can you explain uh, your metropolitan area? You know what I'm saying? Cause you got Richmond, the city, and then mm -hmm. like. Just Richmond. <laughs> 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 nah, nah, you good. We got the bird, you feel me? Uh-huh. We got the bird. You talking like Petersburg? Yeah, Richmond and Petersburg. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Other than that, it's like some surrounding shit, but with the main thing, Richmond. Yeah. That's like, people know about Richmond. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing too much big shit going on around here. But it's getting bigger, it's growing. It's getting better. Mm-hmm. Now, you know what I mean? You need a couple of artists like me, King Duck, you know what I mean? Got the Evernote shop, the kills, Dirty Tills, Gold Niggas got knocked down. Definitely, yeah. definitely, ever now. Definitely hip to him. Uh, yeah. Yeah, nigga, but this shit on the way. Then you got other big shit going on around here. They developing. They trying to build shit up and shit. Mm -hmm. Man, fast. Like, what's the difference? Because you said the East End, North Side. The so it's like the. East mostly the Jets. Uh huh. For the most part. Like, that's what most of all the Jets said. Like, right. For the Jets. Most of Richmond is a Jets project. Like, really? You feel me? Like, most of my family from the Jets. Right. Most of my family from Southside, Hillside, Blackwell. But I had family like really crazy too. Yeah, so you just had people all over. You just had family all over the city. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Sure. 
So that's why you don't really subject yourself to like just like you know, nah, one. I just go. I just go where I need to go. Right. Facts. Go where I need to flow. Yeah. Nah. No yeah. questions. No questions. <laughs> no questions. So yeah. 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 But now, um, personally, <laughs> now personally, you like like tell me your life experiences though. Was it hard? Rough? Was like you? I know you broke down. Your mother was trying to get you out the way, but it was just. Yeah, but it's just like. I don't know, like, it's just, it, that shit just in me, the hustle just in me, so it's just like, I'm gonna do what I, what I gotta do, whatever it is, I feel like I gotta do what I need to do to survive and do, you know what I mean, come up, I always felt like I won't go have to worry about bills and shit, so that's just my main thing, like, as a kid, I ain't never know how, but, you know, as I started figuring it out as a teenager, you know what I mean, mm -hmm. that's just what it was. Right. So it's like your mother tried to do the best for you, but it was just like, hey, it is what it is. She did the best for yeah, she but did. But she didn't want to do what she could. She just, you know what I mean? We was, she moved out there, but she ain't had no bread. It's like, we was broke. She, every, everything she, she had, everything she had was just, she spent on. Making y'all, y'all was living in, y'all was living in a better community, but y'all was still broke because y'all had to take care yeah. of the bills and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. the bills and shit. Shit, I ain't even going one time. And that was the last time I went broke. She bought, I had just got out of, um, I was on house arrest. I had just got out. Mm -hmm. I was 16, I had caught an armed robbery charge. I was on house arrest. She gave me, um, now I gave her money. She It was bad. I had to loan her like 500 for the rent. But that was all the money I had. I, only, I, only, I always had bread, but I bought my own cell phone, paid my own bills since I was 14. Like Damn. I always just found a way to get down and get some bread. Mm -hmm. So, myself. But um, right. so but she said she had me tax time. So tax time came and I think it was less than five hundred. It was like two, three. But she gave me back five hundred. Right, okay. And I was like sixteen or something. Yeah. And I ain't never been broke since. You never been broke since. Nah, been so, since. Um, tell me, like, you know, and we, you know, we talk about past situations. We ain't talking about nothing current, but like, tell me, your, like, your life, like, you know, what I'm saying. So, you said, like, since 14, you were just getting to the money. You always found a way to get money. Yeah. Was that like, like, you know, your early years? You probably was like had little legal hustles and like little things like that at my first. Main thing, see, my main thing was age back. My pops did that. Mm hmm. Football, cause that was my first love. Like I wanted to, I, I thought I had, it. I really had a chance. Like cause I used to crush, start offense and defense. Right. But if I want to go on D one, I ain't want to go. Mm -hmm. And I feel like just like my size and my natural physical. I mean that shit ain't start weighing up to mm -hmm. my position. So that's when the third thing I learned. You know what I mean? From my from my family, from my mom's side, basically, which was the game, kind of just took over. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know what I mean? Because it's just all, what I always seen, what I always knew. Mm -hmm. But I basically was bred to be, kind of, for real. Right. Aside from what I tried. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Yeah, fine. So you had brought up that you um you had got arrested for raw arm um, robbery. You know what I'm saying when you was younger. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. Um, like, while I was making A B honor roll. Really? Yeah. So you was an honor roll student, but you had another side ain't like played football. yeah, yeah I ain't played football. Yeah, yeah. And you called an arm robbery charge. It was some bullshit. <laughs> it was some straight bullshit. Like he won't even, I won't pose to catch that charge. Uh, mm -hmm. Like it was just basically like somebody that just woke up and said it with me. Mm. <laughs> really? Yeah, so but I, I ain't had no code D's or nothing. So I just beat it. Oh, she okay. was crazy how I beat it. Right? Cause she was crazy how I beat it. Like how you explain I, basically I had too much evidence working in my favor. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? And then the judge like after my first twenty one day review where they lock you up for twenty one days, the judge let me out to go to school cause I cause he saw my grades. He was like, I wish I had grades like that when I was in school. <laughs> <laughs> nah, for real. So he let me out go to school, but I had to go house arrest while I was on trial. You feel me? So mm -hmm. we got the, but the first trial date, they, they didn't want to go in the courtroom because I had I had built up so much evidence. I did that shit. Like, I went and got the evidence. Mm -hmm. Did you get, did you lawyer up for it? Or? What I had to get was phone records, mm -hmm. basically, to show that he called me first. You feel me? So it's like you, you initiated contact. How was I? You know what I mean? Whatever you trying to say, I did. Second thing was I had 
It just so happened one of my boys was in driver's ed, right? And it just so happened the dude that was saying it was in driver's because he went to school. He was in driver's ed with one of my niggas and another white girl. The white girl, it was a white dude too. Mm -hmm. The white girl was the white dude's friend. He told them that he, he want me, his parents, kind of making them say, like he don't really believe, like kind of pushing them towards it. Right. So bro came and gave me that info one day. And so I brought them and the white girl who was the white dude's friend came in as a witness for me because, you know what I mean, they were just knowing me to be just a cool ass nigga. Like, you know, yeah, yeah, facts. Cause they like, I ain't deserve, they ain't play, I deserve that. Well, my boy, my, my nigga go around me regardless, but the white girl ain't feel like I deserve that. So, you gotta imagine how that look going to the courtroom. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, yeah, we ain't even going to the courtroom that day when I beat that. Duh, so, that was like your only brushing with the law or over time? Like, that was the first. That, no, that was the first? No, that was the first. That was the first. That was the first series of John. Yeah. I could have had, you know, I mean, did two years where I took at 16. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nah, facts. Speaking of that, though, you know, uh, I'm from, uh, you know, I'm from D.C., of course, right? You know, the closest part of Virginia to us is Northern Virginia. Mm -hmm. And, like, for us in D.C., we stay the fuck away from Virginia all coast. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. How is the police down here compared to, like, you know what I'm saying, other parts, like where it's country or it's more northern and stuff like that? You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Is it, do they, yeah, do they be geeking, like, just like how, like, you know what I'm saying? The, Bullshit. Yeah, yeah, they yeah, be old nah, bullshit. Yeah. yeah. You gonna get pulled more on top. Yeah, I don't know. Well, I don't know. Maybe they be, I don't know about up top, but I know from down south. I, I didn't heard, I didn't had people come and be like, man, the police are way more aggressive of this bitch. Like, they, For real? they aggressive. Like, they breaking their neck. Like, they. They saying y'all police be doing yeah, that. That's I, crazy. I, I, I just think overall Virginia police in general. Um, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got Virginia State like state troopers and stuff around. Yeah, here? Yeah. Oh yeah. And then it get crazy when they want to ride around and they be getting in the city. Like they start their little teaming up. They be doing what they be having the state police, the city police, the county police. Yeah. Like, all of them. Yeah. Move around and at I the same time. That's why the best stay the fuck out the way, man. You got to stay the fuck out the way. <laughs> All the bullshit just be on your business, yeah. man. Because they, they trying to get you. I'm telling you, they going to get you. They definitely going to get you, though, man. Nah, for real. Like, nah. Working, buddy. They try to get me, bro. Nah, like, they man. They try to get me, but luckily I just be... I know people right now, like, I don't know how you know how familiar with Northern Virginia, but I know people right now was doing three to five years for stolen cars, bro. Like, stolen. Like, just, you know, joyriding. You know what I'm saying? And they say yeah, grand larceny stolen. and shit. Like, yeah. it's crazy up there, man. So, we really stayed away from Virginia at all costs unless it's like a mandatory move we got to go to. You know what I'm saying? Like, the mall or something. So, that's how I think that's... I didn't had, I didn't caught the detective lady lying on me in front of the judge. Two blade Dang. lies. For real? Quarter. I knew she was lying. Whisper something to my lawyer. Uh-huh. He put it in the words how he put he put it in. The judge saw she was lying. The judge caught her in the two lies from mm -hmm. cause you know what I mean. So then right then they had to throw the Jane out. But the fucked up part is they ain't give me the money that she took. They ain't make her give me the money back. Or the gun. Yeah. But I had a felony case that so I really got convicted. The next going on, I got convicted on the next month. So. Okay. You, you had to do some jail time for that one? No, nah, cause it was just um, um marijuana. Nah. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, you got a felony for marijuana? Yeah, yeah, before. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I forgot. This is Virginia, man. They just, they they just made it legal, like, yeah. now. Like, how much How much amount do you have to have for it to be a felony, though? Well, now or then? Like, then. Like, then, when you got locked up. Then, they could if you had a half an ounce, they could have tried to give you one. You could try to beat it if it's just a half an ounce or the other. But, you know, depending on the more it is and then which you other, you got a scale or the bad, like, they try to get you with a little amount, but mm. it was like a couple of pounds. Nah. Oh, so that's what you got caught? Damn. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, man. So now, like, how do you feel now that, like, you know, it's, it's, it's like, it's it's legal out here, they're a little bit more lenient now, like, how you feel, like, you feel like they still, it's still kind of targeting you a little bit, or it's just, it's a little bit better now? Uh, 
I be selling, so I don't know who they talking. <laughs> yeah, nah, for real, like, but uh, like, yeah. That, but I mean, like, by consumer use. I'm not talking about, oh. yeah, distribution and shit like that. I'm talking like consumer and shit. Yeah, nah, think, nah, 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 nah. I mean, nah, nah. I don't feel like they be talking. I did see some bullshit the other day though, but they walk when they might be trying to get down test. Drug test, yeah, like they can do on the side of the road. Yeah, I, I saw that story. Yeah, so I don't know. Yeah, I saw that. I, I saw that. I know they're probably mad that they lost that look because they used to get you with the four year old and smell marijuana. Automatic. Automatic. That's how they used to. That's how they hit us up there when we go out VA. Yeah. They hit us with that. Oh, we that's smell marijuana. Yeah, what they really did it. Don't just, you know what I mean? Try to do because they saw like after so much. That they was clearly doing that shit. Like, mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Then you know, targeting black folks. Yeah, facts, man. So yeah, man. Um, so you know, um, so you know, out in our region, we have the term called the DMV, right? You know what I'm saying? Now, originally, it started to unify like uh, artists in D.C. and other parts of Virginia, but it became more of a geographical thing in D.C. Do you consider yourself a DMV artist? No, no. We're not from the DMV. Richmond is not DMV. We say Richmond not DMV. <laughs> Say this is really Virginia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How you feel though? I wanna hear your I wanna hear what you say. I feel I just wanna originally Originally I felt like DMV stood for DC, Maryland, Virginia. Right. So I thought it was like when I first heard it, I thought it would be I thought it was the whole jump. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. DC, all of DC, all of Maryland, all of Virginia. But as I saw the movement happening, it ain't feel like it was yeah. all of DC Maryland. It just felt like it was DC, Northern Virginia, and like and the and the it, closest part of Maryland that surrounds that. DC basically. Yeah. yeah. Baltimore, I don't think that shit. So, yeah, Baltimore. It's crazy because we write by Baltimore, but it's it's a different yeah. world, like yeah. to us. We don't talk the same. Not. Like yeah. Yeah. yeah, we don't talk nothing like them. But they cool that we fuck with Baltimore, man. Yeah. But I think what it is, cause you know, I know the person who started the term DMV, and the goal was to bring DC, Maryland, and Virginia artists. But what happened was, our radio stations and our major artists. They was the the front runners representing it, so it became more of a geographical thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like, you know, um, we have this, we have geographical like disagreements about what the DMV is. But me personally, on the music tip and the business tip, I'm trying to bring everybody together. That's why I'm out here. I feel you. Yeah, that's and why I'm out here. I really don't with it because you can ask these niggas. They already know I be on that type of unit to shit. Yeah, facts. I just want everybody to get some money and that. Kick it with the people. Yeah, yeah facts. Have the get some money. Nah, for real. <laughs> Is there any DC artists or DMV artists you fuck with out there? Or that you, you got hip to out there? Mm, I was hip to no savage. Yeah, I'm free savage. savage. No fucking with Virginia, man. Got locked up out of Virginia. Yeah, yeah man. Fucking around, man. Yeah, hip to, bro. Hip to, um. Hip to, Flock. Yeah, Flock. That's my dog. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I be seeing that because I be seeing them in that song. That yeah. song he got with, with um with um buddy that doing I fuck with that yeah, yeah. creative on um, the song. How that down? What is it called? The joint they be like they don't be they don't really they ain't really doing shit. Oh, Monster. Yeah. Monster from Alfredsburg. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's my dog. Yeah, that's my man too. Yeah. That's my. See, he got a bud out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Monster, Flock, all that, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, would you like to like link up with more artists on, on like on our side? You know what I'm saying? That would be good. That would be good networking. Yeah, I definitely want to link up with artists in general. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, as long as it's as long as it's, it's fit, you know what I mean. As long as it's meant to, people be people be a little crazy weird, but you know, I I mean, I'm just I just be chilling, just trying to get to it, bro. Yeah, we that and be creative. You feel me? Oh, man, I be I be trying to be. Creative. Yeah, I'm definitely hip to F and N Chop. You know what I'm saying? I fuck with him. Out here, you know what I'm saying? We fuck with him yeah. out there. You know what I'm saying? Real heavy. And there's a few others too. I just can't think of it right here. You know what I'm saying? Closer yeah. to the head, real quick. You know what I'm saying? So we definitely fuck with it. You know what I'm saying? For real. So when did you actually start rapping, man? Um, how did it start? How did it start? Yeah. It started goddamn. Basically, basically, I was pushing other artists for real. Mm. Then. People started falling to the wayside. Like, I was just playing my position. I wasn't even trying to really be in the line like a man. Because my whole, you know what I mean? That just ain't me for real. But I had to switch that up. Mm -hmm. But um, we ain't had no more artists, basically. 
Mm. <laughs> for real, we had a little odd for one, but two I already felt like I could do it because I could write good stories in school, you feel me? Mm. So I felt like I could do it, and I knew I could say good shit. I could have a work, but I could say all that. You know what I mean? And I wrote, I had to write a rap I wrote when I was 16, I still remember that bit. But I ain't never rap again until mm-hmm. I got it in my, in like, about 20, two, 21, <coughs> something like that. Mm-hmm. Because it just won't need me to, I mean, I was just preoccupied doing what I do. I will not even thinking about it. For real, at first, that shit was like a fantasy around here. Like, shit was like a fantasy world, like rap, like being, being able to be a big artist, like what, like who, what, how? Yeah, <laughs> right. So, <laughs> you mean that shit was like some shit we just saw on TV? And at first, until now, like until like last couple years with the social media and, and nigga, now niggas in high school and school, now they 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 be in the studio, they doing their thing. But at first, we when we was in school, like what studio? Like who got a studio? Well, mm-hmm. I ain't know nobody going to studio like that for real. Maybe one person, and I just knew he went down. I know what the fuck he was doing for real. Like, yeah. That shit was <laughs> the music that is an industry. That shit was going around here at all. You feel me? But I got that artistry in me though because I always write good stories. You feel me? And I and I got a story myself. And it's just like so. Once I got into that um. Once I got into it, and I just I just realized that it, I had to develop my sound, make it appeal. Cause it don't matter what you, you can say this shit all day, but if that shit ain't come across the ear, right? Like, niggas ain't feeling it. If they ain't liking what they hearing, they ain't mm-hmm. liking what they hearing. Nah, for real, facts. That's just what it is. They don't matter how good what you saying. You know what I mean? That shit gotta be appealing. You know what I mean? The beat, your sound, your cadence, all that shit. So I just had to develop that. You feel me? And then. Um, and then really, one day when I was on, um, what made me take it serious though, for real, the first time I took it serious was when my, I was recording in the studio one day, and then I got a call when my daughter got shot. My daughter got shot. Your daughter? Yeah. Wow. Yeah, she was um, one years old. She, well, she survived. Wow, that's a blessing. Cause yeah, it's yeah. definitely a blessing because that's another thing, but we are here out here, but kid, he going crazy out here, kid be getting hit, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, man. Just, and DC, they just got hit to the switches, man. It's, it's going crazy. Yeah, like, hey, it's, it's, it's going man, crazy. Kids killing kids, man, out there, yeah, man. Yeah, and then this kid can kill on top of that, bro. I just want to, like, bro, it's understandable. Nigga, sometimes people got to die. Like, sometimes, sometimes people deserve to be wilding. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. But at the same time, you got to, you can't just be, it, it ain't the whole, it ain't that whole hood fault. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Whatever happened, like it ain't the kid. Kid, what the kids gotta do with people be on this shit now? They don't even give a fuck. Yeah, it's just it like the back in the days, you get your man, like yeah, you get your target. Exactly. Yeah, you get your like, target, but now it's like fuck yeah, baby, whoever. Like mm-hmm. or 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 it ain't it might be. It might you just you just doing it. Thank you, ready to get your target, miss the whole target, hit other, mm-hmm. um, so. hit old people, kids, innocent yeah, women. Go. Yeah, it be crazy out here, man. I ain't got yeah. that call, but I, and I'm going to, um, for real though, like, I was just wondering, like, I ain't know where it happened. I just was at the car while I was recording, so I just, I ain't say nothing to nobody. Right now. I just left the studio and went to the hospital. You feel me? I don't be, but, like, I just was more, more thankful, for real, and glad that she was alive to even really be, think about anything else for real. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, it's just hit all the flesh, no bones, no organs, and then just in yeah, one year on the side. Yeah. So that joint, that joint is like, but the type, I'm like, I'm like a real unemotional. Like it's hard for me to express my emotions. You feel me? Anyway, because I didn't suppress them for so long, just because of dealing with different shit. You know what I mean? I'm numb. Mm-hmm. So it's like. It might even take a lot for me to get mad. I, be, I should get more mad at certain shit. And I don't even know how to get mad to because I'm numb on me to give a fuck. But it's certain, but when I do get mad, you know what I mean? So it might be over the top. It might be, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? But it's like, yeah. So basically, you just put all your emotions out on the song. You had mentioned to me personally, you said like within five years, you lost about four family members and you was close to losing your daughter within what five years? Yeah, I lost one her year, like I lost an uncle one year. It, uncle like he was kinda like my street dad too, cause like he told me a whole lot, you feel me? Whole mm-hmm. lot, gave me a whole lot of game, like 
Then I lost my old uncle the next year. He was killed by his best friend. Damn. And you know what I mean, around Hillside Court. Then I lost my brother on Christmas Day the next year. Then I lost my other cousin, Toy, around Craven Court the next year after that. And then the fifth year, when my daughter got shot, so I would have lost her, but she survived. So, but that was the best. So it was like, and I guess that's why when I got the call, I was so numb because I felt like I was just used to the losses by then. So, he was like, not my daughter, though. Like, yeah, so it just was like, so I was glad, well, I, was like, I was just glad she survived, but it was just like, like, I just was just, I don't know, I just was just. <laughs> so it's like now when you hear somebody lost loved one, you just not surprised no more. Something or somewhat. No, no, no. Not for, but it's been. I mean, no, not no more. It's kind of like yeah, it's kind of numb. It's like I turned all of that. You feel me? It turned all that like emotion and that shit. Which is what like I feel like the music helped me bring it back out. Nah. Music have a really found my emotion again because I feel like some songs that's what they call for, like you know what I mean, because mm -hmm. it's been able to put that emotion in into the lyric. Whether it's happy, a happy song, ain't just emotion don't mean it's a sad song or something like that, or like got to be some pain song because emotion can be anything, yeah. mm -hmm. happy, funny, all that. Mm -hmm. Nah, definitely, man. I definitely appreciate that, man. I'm glad glad your daughter good, though, man. You know what I'm saying? How's she doing now? Nah, she doing good. She doing good. Saying? She in school now. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she getting the Monterey just like you, man? Yeah, you know. Yeah, nah, for real yeah, facts. You know <laughs> yeah, you <laughs> say, man, you got a little genius, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah, nah, for real, man. But yeah, um, so what's your goal? What's your overall goal with this shit, man? Shit, my overall goal for real, just go up with this bitch. Really, cause, and really my sound, cause like my sound's so different. Like, I don't know, you, you listen to anything. Mm -hmm. like, I mean, I just got hip right now, you know what I'm saying? The first song I heard, I, 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 was, I was impressed. You heard anybody sound like that? Can you say? Who you think nah, not like? too many. Like, not too many. I, got, I really, really nobody for real, but like, yeah. Yeah, for the most part, like, I just hit my sounds so distinctive and unique, like, and it's different, so it's like, I'm the only one with it. So it's like, I gotta do it. Mm. Cause I, you know what I mean? My sound, my sound got to make it. Just, who else gonna have it? Right. I have the sound, you know what I mean? Make it mop. So that's one thing. You feel me? Another thing is like, I want to get them. I want to be able to just really change the life. I want to be able to change just change my city. I want to make the life change in my city for the most part. Mm. Of course, in my family, that's a given. Right. I need the people, but. I really want to get there. I really want to be able to make a change in my city. Like, for real, like, really start some shit. Or like, of course, making that video help bring more shit around here. And I can set up my own shit from the other artists through that bitch. But I also want to be able to change bigger things than just the music scene in my city. You feel me? Mm -hmm. But I know it takes that power. You know what I mean? It takes that, it take that influence to do that. You be, you can have all the good ideas, but you know what I mean? People only respect <laughs> what they can see, really. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Talk kind of cheap, so. Mm -hmm. You know, I gotta get that, get that first before I can really make those moves and make some uh, positive impact around it. Yeah, no, no question. No question. Well, if there's a, a criticism that you can make of yourself or something that you think that you can either better your, better your career, what would you say it'd be? Just get out there. Hmm. I know what I'm lacking, so I guess it's whatever. Like, shit, figuring out the moves. Mm -hmm. Like, my biggest thing in that, in general, though, I I think is like procrastination. Sometimes, you know what I mean. But then sometimes you feel like my procrastination comes from uncertainty on um, just the general knowledge and knowing what to do, really. Because I could do, I, I got, I could, I could do certain things, I could pull certain budgets together, but it's like I already got the connections and certain, really know what to do with it to get the results I need yet. But that's what I'm figuring out. That's the part I need to figure out. Mm -hmm. Knowledge of business. 
and stuff, my connections up, my network. Yeah. For sure, my network. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so you definitely want to network with other artists. Yeah, man. Network, mm-hmm. I mean, not even other artists, my networking in the business, really. Oh, yeah. I feel like, I mean, other artists too, because yeah, cause at the end of the day, they can help. They can help the mm-hmm. overall goal, but I feel like me networking in the business, knowing what to do with the budget, that'll help me. That'll have me do a little further with my music, mm-hmm. personally, you know what I mean? Yeah, nah, no question. Nah, mm-hmm. no question. I definitely, yeah, I definitely got to understand that. You know what I'm saying? So, like, lock in with more executives and, you know what I'm saying, people that's plugged in, tapped in, basically what you're saying, yeah. Yeah, exactly. People that, it's the right one, though, like, people that can really help me, yeah, make mm-hmm. really got. Mm-hmm. Chess moves, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Nah, definitely, man. So what you what, what you got on the way right now, man? Yeah, man, I got the I got this interview. Mm-hmm, of course. <laughs> Covered up. I got the off the porch interview coming up. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got the man, I got something coming with 804 podcast soon. Um, I'm trying to reach out to a few more of them. I got I'm working on. I just I got two videos done. Mm-hmm. Dog house. That joint featuring WTSCO, that video done, we about to drop there. I got another video done called Light Years. The song you was listening to, mm-hmm. that video done. Yeah. You know what I mean? I got another song in the cut with uh, F and F Chop. That I bitch, fuck with him, that hey. bitch hard, yeah. too. You know what I mean? We already got, me, him, and uh, King Duck, we already got a hard ass song. We did a mm-hmm. hard ass video too. A bitch called Get Right. Mm-hmm. For YouTube, that, that joint going crazy for real. And um, and I got another hard ass song. <laughs> Damn. Y'all be ready to drop some. I'm just, I'm just ready to roll it out for real. It's just all in, it's just all in the um, movements though. Man. It's mm-hmm. all in the strategy. Cause I got the, I got the music, I got the sound, I got what I need. I just need, I just need the, the strategy to roll out right. Man. Yeah, yeah. And get that fan base going. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm probably saying? Got, got. I'm definitely gonna link you in with some 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 known DC robbers, man. It's, it's gonna fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I want, you know, what I'm I want you, I want you to tap in, get your buzz up there too. As well as you get it down here, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Sure. Definitely. So I want you to network, you know, with our artists as well, because I fuck with you. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate Jane wouldn't do. You know what I'm saying? Appreciate kind of glad. You know, what I'm saying? this is a long ass trip, but I'm glad I made it down here though. <laughs> the whole time you told me a crazy story, man. You told me that you got uh, you got kidnapped, man. <laughs> yeah, bro, I got. It. And I was like. Lucille, hey, I had the stepdad, right? He was a trinity daddy, right? I had, um, and my mom had like an abusive relationship or whatever, right? Mm-hmm. So one day we sitting outside, and she was, she had kind of like, I guess they would split, put them out or whatever. Me and her, we sitting outside of the right. I got a sister that's like five years, about five, almost six years older than me. Mm-hmm. We see me and my mom sitting outside of the right. Age. She in the driver's seat, I'm right behind her. I'm waiting on my sister to come out of the stove. You feel me? And then all of a sudden I just hear her scream like, ah, like something. And then the door just swing open. And it's him. It's, it's my stepdad in Trinidad. And mm-hmm. he um he just for, he forced her over to the passenger seat and got in the driver's seat. You know what I mean? So then when he was so then we just sat there and we waited for my sister to come out, right? And when she came out, he drove us around the street like to some um, to an alley, uh, these apartments, on um, mm. um, Chamberlain, on um, Chamberlain and shit. This is the alley of these apartments, and he was like, I guess he just wanted to talk to her or whatever. Somebody said, I don't know, I don't know if that happened or did, or did she tell him let's just talk so she could get him out of the car or something. I don't know, but when they got out of the car, he parking when they got out of the car. My mom would have him. She had on the army fatigue jacket, right? She had a 38 in that bitch, and she mm. pulled that joint out. <laughs> it was like, told her, like, no, I mean, she put it over, like, told him that damn, um, just told him don't move, basically, like, and somebody come out of the apartment, they would probably do it, like, don't shoot my kids in here, or something like that. So he just standing, my stepdad just standing right there with his hand behind his back, he like, shoot me, shoot me, something like that. But he ain't, he ain't come to her, I don't think he wanted to try her, because she had, had already pistol whipped them before. Damn. When I was laying, when I was laying down beside her one time on the couch, she could put the knife in his hand, like he came over the top of her and she, I ain't even know she had a knife. I was looking, I was like seven, eight, then all of a sudden, that bitch went in his hand. Like, Damn. He was over the top of her, like this. Shit. You feel so me? your mother ain't play no games, man. Nah, nah, nah not at all. You know what I mean? She had, 
they had a she was he was abusive to her though too so I guess but she ain't yeah she ain't going she, she ain't got going for it. She from Blackwell Project. The first two projects that got knocked down on here. That probably was one of the worst. You was at? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So it was good. So, so she had the gun on him. And then she told my sister, start the car, start the car. I think she did, right? And um, sometimes, I guess my mama got in the car. He disappeared to like the front of the apartments because we was in the alley. So he went to the front. So then we driving down the alley on the way out. And all of a sudden, something just go. He had came out nowhere on the after we going down the alley. I guess he went around the apartments, came back down and caught the cars. We leaving out. I guess he just Superman punched that bitch or something, bro. Mm. And put glass. I don't know if you can see. Yeah, I can see it. Yeah, that jumped the glass went in my face. Mm. That just been there since. Damn. Yeah, little, that's that's deep. So like that right there, like those are memories you just you just can't get out your head, man. It's just traumatizing. Yeah, but it's like I don't know if it, I don't think it'll, it just, like, they in my head, but I don't, I don't feel like it's traumatizing, like, where it'll, it'll affect me, like, I can't be successful, <laughs> you feel me? Mm -hmm. So, it's like, oh, um, and on top of that, like, I done had, and not for that, but just, like, throughout my life, I done had counseling, like, professional counseling, like, in middle mm -hmm. school, high school, I done seen counseling, like, just with different shit, so, yeah. like, that's probably another reason why, like, I react to shit different. And on top of my grandma, my, my, her putting in me like, make sure you, you always think before you react. Think yeah, before you facts. react because she already seen the, 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 the shit that before me, before I was born. She was seen the destructive, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Destructive path with my uncles and her people all that. So, think before you react. So, that's always been in me. Mm -hmm. So, it's like, I always kind of like, kind of thought about shit before I did shit. Yeah, nah, definitely. That's a that's a real deep story right there, man. <laughs> that's definitely a deep story, you know what I'm saying? Nah, I appreciate that. Yeah, before we wrap it up, man, the camera, you know, the camera about to go out, but um, any last words, any words of motivation or anything like that? Mm. Aim for the stars to take all, dog. Mm-hmm. You feel me? That's my motto. Mm-hmm. You know, doing this for all the small city niggas with big potential. Right. So, nah, definitely. Rats, Richmond, Virginia. E. Yeah, man. Sir? It's your boy David Hudson News, and we are gone. Yeah.